When these triplets were born, everything appeared to be normal. Their skin had a lovely pink hue, and they were each cradled on their mother's chest. However, something peculiar was observed by the doctor. As soon as the baby on the right opened her eyes, the doctors hurriedly left the room. Fear gripped their hearts as they awaited the doctor's return, dreading the revelation that awaited them about their newborn daughter on the right. Mindy and David had been attempting to start a family for a really long time, but no matter how hard they tried, it just wouldn't happen for them. Mindy was 33 years old, and David was a few years older. It wasn't a complete disaster, but Mindy couldn't help but acknowledge that with each passing year without success, her dream of becoming a mother became less likely. Despite the setbacks, Mindy and David refused to lose hope. They explored every possible avenue, from fertility treatments to adoption, in their quest to fulfill their longing for a child. Each failed attempt tested their resolve, but their love for each other only grew stronger with each hurdle they faced. As they journeyed through the ups and downs of infertility, they clung to the belief that someday, their dream of starting a family would become a reality. And as they braced themselves for the challenges that lay ahead, they vowed to never give up on their shared vision of parenthood, knowing that their love would guide them through even the darkest of times. So you can imagine that both parents were in seventh heaven when they first read that plus sign on their pregnancy test. They couldn't believe their luck. We're finally getting the cutest baby cried David. The two future parents hugged and cried. They were over the moon, but they absolutely had not counted on the news the doctor would bring to the couple. As they sat in the doctor's office, anticipation and excitement filled the air. They eagerly awaited confirmation of their long-awaited pregnancy, their hearts brimming with joy and anticipation. But as the doctor delivered the news, their relation quickly turned to shock and disbelief. Their dreams shattered in an instant as they learned of the complications that threatened their unborn child's life. Fear gripped their hearts as they struggled to comprehend the magnitude of the challenges that lay ahead. With tears streaming down their faces, they clung to each other for support, their hopes for the future hanging in the balance. And as they grappled with the harsh reality of their situation, they vowed to face whatever trials came their way with unwavering determination and unwavering with unwavering love. When it was finally time for her first ultrasound, Mindy and David went to the hospital full of stress. You know the baby is there, but it's still such a different feeling when you see it on a monitor in person for the first time, Mindy explained. Mindy's belly had already grown considerably, much faster than the mother-to-be had expected. As they entered the examination room, apprehension hung heavy in the air. Mindy's heart raced with anticipation, her hands trembling with nervous energy as she prepared to catch a glimpse of their unborn child for the first time. With bated breath, they watched as the technician glided the ultrasound wand over Mindy's swelling abdomen, the rhythmic thumping of their baby's heartbeat filling the room. And as the image of their precious miracle flickered into view on the monitor, tears welled in their eyes, overwhelmed by the beauty and wonder of new life blossoming within Mindy's womb. With each passing moment, their bond with their unborn child grew stronger, filling their hearts with an indescribable sense of joy and anticipation for the journey that lay ahead. It must be a big baby, she thought. But when the doctor rolled the ultrasound machine over her belly, it quickly became abundantly clear what was going on here. Congratulations! You have triplets in your belly, ma'am. The doctor called out with a cautious smile. This was of course hefty news to take in. But David's and Mindy's reaction was not what the doctor expected. Shock reverberated through Mindy and David as the weight of the doctor's words settled upon them. Triplets? The magnitude of the news left them speechless, their minds struggling to comprehend the sudden twist of fate that awaited them. But as the initial shock began to fade, a wave of joy and excitement washed over them, filling their hearts with a newfound sense of wonder and anticipation for the journey ahead. With trembling hands and tear-filled eyes, they embraced each other tightly, their hearts overflowing with love for the tiny miracles growing within Mindy's womb. And as they gazed into each other's eyes, they knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, united in their unwavering commitment to their growing family. Nivy and David almost jumped in the air and the only reason they didn't fly directly into each other's arms was because Mindy was still full of echo gel tangled in some cobbles. That's great news, David exclaimed loudly. They couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the three hearts beating on the packs. Both parents to be had tears in their eyes, as they beheld the miraculous sight of three tiny hearts pulsating in unison. On Yulchestras on screen, Mindy and Mindy were overcome with a profound sense of awe and gratitude. Their joy knew no bounds as they marveled at the precious lives growing within Mindy's womb, each heartbeat a testament to the boundless love and hope that filled their hearts. With tears of happiness streaming down their faces, they shared a moment of pure bliss, their souls intertwined with the promise of new life and endless possibilities. And as they embraced each other in a tender embrace, they knew that their journey as parents had only just begun, filled with the extraordinary gift of triple the love, triple the joy, and triple the blessings that awaited them. 
They both desperately wanted a big family and thought they would have to make do with just one, or no child. But this changed everything. They kept a close eye on everything in the months that followed. After all, with triplets there could be some complications, but everything seemed to be going well. Until the big moment of delivery suddenly arrived. As Mindy's contractions intensified, and the time for delivery drew near, a sense of nervous anticipation filled the room. Despite their hopes for a smooth delivery, the realization that they were about to welcome not one, but three precious bundles of joy into the world filled them with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. With each passing moment, their anxiety mounted, their hearts pounding with anticipation as they braced themselves for the life-changing moment that lay just moments away. And as the clock ticked steadily onwards, they clung to each other for support, their love and determination serving as a beacon of hope amidst the uncertainty that surrounded them. Mindy's belly had grown tremendously in the nine-month-long pregnancy. Her three girls were pretty much ready to be born. Yes, all three of her babies were girls and not just that, they were also identical triplets, which meant they were going to be 100% perfectly alike. Even doctors called this pregnancy extremely special and were curious about the end result. As Mindy prepared to welcome her identical triplet daughters into the world, the excitement and anticipation in the delivery room were palpable. The air buzzed with a sense of wonder and curiosity as medical professionals and expectant parents alike eagerly awaited the arrival of the extraordinary trio. With each passing moment, the sense of anticipation grew, their hearts filled with awe and wonder at the prospect of witnessing the birth of three identical sisters, each one a unique and precious miracle in her own right. And as the moment of delivery drew near, they braced themselves for the remarkable journey that lay ahead, united in their shared hope and excitement for the incredible journey that awaited them. And even though Mindy was thrilled with her pregnancy, she also thought it was about time her ladies left her belly. The last months were tough for the mother, which is of course not surprising with such a big belly. When her water finally broke and the contractions started coming within short periods of time, they got in the car to the car to hospital. As Mindy's water broke and contraction inconsensified, a surge of excitement mingled with relief washed over her. The long-awaited moment had finally arrived, and despite the discomfort of labor pains, she couldn't help but feel a sense of elation, knowing that she would soon hold her precious daughters in her arms. With David by her side, they hurriedly made their way to the hospital, anticipation and excitement mounting with each passing moment. And as they navigated the journey to the hospital, their hearts swelled with love and anticipation, ready to embark on the incredible journey of bringing their identical triplet daughters into the world. David tried to drive cautiously at first. You obviously have precious goods on board with your wife and your future children, but a leisurely drive soon turned into a roller coaster of emotions when Mondi suddenly cried out. The contractions were now suddenly very close together. He knew he could not mess around anymore. He pushed down on the gas pedal and hoped that they wouldn't encounter police. David tried to drive cautiously at first. You obviously have precious goods on board with your wife and your future children, but a leisurely drive soon turned into a roller coaster of emotions when motion suddenly cried out. The contractions were now suddenly very close together. He knew he could not mess around anymore. He pushed down on the gas pedal and hoped that they wouldn't encounter police. According to Mindy, their girls were ready to be born. Maybe everything just goes faster with triplets, David thought, listening to his wife scream in the chair next to him. And even though David was driving as fast as he could, the drive still felt like an eternity to both David and Mindy. Still, they arrived at the hospital in record time. And thankfully they did. As they arrived at the hospital, relief flooded over them like a tidal wave, washing away the fear and uncertainty that had gripped them during the frantic journey. With each passing moment, the sense of urgency had grown more palpable, their hearts racing with the fear of what might happen if they didn't make it in time. But as they stepped through the doors of the hospital, a sense of calm washed over them, their worries melting away in the face of the expert care and support that awaited them within. And as they were ushered into the delivery room, their hearts swelled with hope and anticipation, ready to face whatever lay ahead with courage and determination. Although many women spend several hours in the hospital without any visible delivery action, Mindy's delivery was able to start almost immediately. The doctors present also confirmed that both parents should not have arrived a second later, or else the delivery of their precious triplets would have most likely started in the car. There were many doctors present for this special moment. With the arrival of Mindy and David at the hospital just in time, the medical team sprang into action, their expertise and efficiency ensuring that Mindy's delivery could commence without delay. As they were swiftly ushered into the delivery room, a sense of urgency filled the air, 
tempered by the skilled hands and reassuring presence of the medical staff who had gathered to assist in the momentous occasion. And as Mindy prepared to bring their precious triplets into the world, she felt a surge of gratitude for the team of professionals who stood ready to support her every step of the way. Because although you might expect this to happen often, the natural birth of triplets is still a rare occurrence. A lot can go wrong in a short amount of time, which is why the room was filled with doctors and nurses to keep a close eye on everything. Push now, the main doctor shouted with a stern tone in his voice. The delivery room buzzed with a sense of urgency as the medical team, acutely aware of the rare and delicate nature of the situation, worked seamlessly to ensure the safety and well-being of both Mindy and her precious triplets. The experienced hands of the doctors and nurses moved with purpose and precision, their collective focus honed on the task at hand. As the main doctor urged Mindy to push, the room held its breath, each moment charged with anticipation and the weight of the extraordinary event unfolding. And as Mindy summoned her strength for the final push, a wave of emotion swept through the room, a symphony of support and determination echoing in the air. With a loud cry and a big final breath from Mindy, her first baby girl came into the world. It was a beautiful sight, and on first inspection she seemed completely healthy. She cried almost immediately, which is always a good sign with newborns, and she was then placed on the chest of her now also crying mother. What a beautiful girl. In that fleeting moment of pure joy, amidst the tears and laughter, they marveled at the beauty of new life and the boundless possibilities that lay ahead for their precious daughter. As the first cries of their baby girl filled the room, tears of joy streamed down Mindy's cheeks, mingling with the overwhelming flood of emotions that swept over her. With trembling hands, she reached out to cradle her precious daughter against her chest, feeling the warmth of her tiny body against her own. In that moment, as their eyes met for the first time, a bond was forged that transcended words, a love so profound it left Mindy breathless. And as she gazed down at her daughter, a sense of wonder and gratitude washed over her, filling her heart to overflowing. But Mindy couldn't enjoy this moment for very long, because baby two was on the way with a third one waiting behind her. And that third baby in particular was going to be a special one. A baby that left even the most experienced doctor with question marks. A Mindy felt the next contraction coming on. It was time for her second child. As the intensity of the contractions increased, Mindy braced herself for the next stage of labor, her body instinctively responding to the rhythm of the birthing process. With each passing moment, the anticipation grew, mingling with a sense of apprehension as she prepared to welcome her second precious child into the world. And as the next contraction washed over her, she summoned her strength, ready to meet her baby with open arms and an open heart. Her second child clearly wanted to come into the world even faster than her first one, because for Mindy it felt like she was barely pushing and her next baby girl was already on her chest. It was a beautiful child again, a little more quiet than her first one, which made her nervous a little bit but she was at least as beautiful. Together, they marveled at the beauty of their newborn daughter and the miraculous journey that had brought her into their arms. As her second daughter was placed on her chest, Mindy felt a rush of emotions flood over her once more. Despite the initial quietness, the sight of her newborn daughter filled her heart with love and gratitude. She marveled at the delicate features of her baby girl, cherishing this precious moment of bonding. And as she held her close, a sense of wonder washed over Mindy, enveloping her in the profound beauty of motherhood. You can already see here that they look alike, a nurse spoke softly as she pointed to the baby's chin. But Mindy did not have the time to take a closer look. The baby was given to David who placed her in a cot. For Mindy had to start giving birth to her third child. And this child suddenly changed everything. As Mindy braced herself for the arrival of her third child, a sense of anticipation mingled with a hint of apprehension. With the impending birth of their final baby, the air in the room crackled with excitement and uncertainty. Each contraction brought them closer to the moment when their family would be complete. Yet it also marked the beginning of a new chapter filled with unknowns. And as Mindy prepared to meet her third precious daughter, she couldn't help but wonder how this child would alter the course of their lives forever. Neither of the parents had had a moment's rest from the time they left home. It went from cramps to a rushed car ride and right away into a triple delivery. So you can imagine that both parents were most happy when Mindy and David's third child was also born healthy. It was finally time for a break, time to rest. In the embrace of their newfound completeness, they cherished the quiet moments together, knowing that their journey as parents was only just beginning. As their third daughter entered the world, a wave of relief washed over Mindy and David, filling the room with a sense of peace and contentment. So with all three of their precious girls now safely in the world, they could finally exhale their hearts overflowing with gratitude and joy. And as they gazed upon their newborn daughter, a profound sense of love and wonder enveloped them, reaffirming the beauty and blessings of parenthood. 
Finally, the pressure was literally and figuratively gone and both parents could breathe a sigh of relief for the first time since they left their house. They lovingly looked at each other and their third girl and smiled happily. What they did not yet know, however, was that this little girl was extremely special. She had something that no doctor at the hospital had ever seen. As they basked in the glow of their new family, little did they realize the extraordinary journey that awaited them with their unique daughter. In the quiet of the hospital room, amidst the soft cries of their newborns, a sense of wonder and mystery lingered, hinting at the remarkable destiny that lay ahead for their precious child. And as they held her close, unaware of the secrets she held, Mindy and David could only marvel at the miracle of life and the boundless possibilities that lay before them. There they all were. Two exhausted parents, one a lot more than the other, of course with their three beautiful girls. They were given a moment by the staff present to let the whole situation sink in. Mindy and David held their babies at the same time and even placed a bow in the hair of one of their daughters. In the quiet embrace of their growing family, they found solace and strength, ready to embark on the adventure that lay ahead. In that serene moment, amidst the whirlwind of emotions, Mindy and David found solace in the simple act of holding their daughter's clothes. With each tiny hand wrapped around their fingers and each soft breath against their skin, they felt a profound sense of love and gratitude wash over them, enveloping their hearts in warmth and wonder. And as they gazed upon their precious girls, adorned with a delicate bow, they knew that their family was now complete, bound together by an unbreakable bond of love and devotion. My mother had given three bows to keep them apart, but in my haste I had accidentally only taken one with me, David told them later, laughing. Their little ones were sleeping peacefully with their eyes closed, but everything changed when they opened their eyes. This would be a memorable moment, but what was about to happen was even more special than anyone could have imagined. As the newborn stirred awake, their eyes fluttered open, revealing a stunning surprise. It was a sight that left Mindy and David utterly speechless, awestruck by the extraordinary uniqueness of their daughters. And in that miraculous moment, they knew that their journey as parents was destined to be filled with endless wonder and joy. It was something they never expected. It was a beautiful and touching moment. Their girls, Amber, Laura and Nadine were gently laid on a blanket just before that first moment. They lay there so peacefully and Laura even unconsciously wrapped her arms around her, her newborn sister, as seen here. A worthy photo moment that brought tears to the eyes of both parents. The picture can be seen below. This picture captured the essence of sibling love and unity, filling Mindy and David's hearts with warmth and gratitude. Little did they know, this moment would mark the beginning of an extraordinary journey filled with surprises and joys beyond imagination. As they gazed upon it, a sense of anticipation bubbled within them, igniting a flame of excitement for the adventures yet to come. Slowly, her first two children opened their eyes. Still half asleep, but quietly awakened, the babies took a look at the world outside for the first time, and two sets of bright green-blue eyes appeared. What a beautiful set of eyes, said Mindy. But it was the third baby, Nadine, who would suddenly give these parents the fright of their lives. As Nadine slowly blinked her eyes open, Mindy and David were stunned to see something remarkable, and they think is extremely special. Shocked silence enveloped the room as everyone gazed at this extraordinary sight. In that moment, they understood that their journey was destined to be far more extraordinary than they could have ever imagined. The doctors just came back in and saw that both parents were no longer holding their children. Is this an appropriate time to take them with us? We need to check a few more things, the doctor asked. Mindy and David nodded approvingly, and the doctor walked over to the brand new triplets. By now, Amber and Laura had both eyes wide open. The medical team carefully examined each baby, checking their vitals and observing their movements. The Mindy and David watched anxiously, their hearts pounding with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. Amidst the tension, a distant melody filled the room, soothing their nerves with its gentle rhythm, offering a glimmer of hope in the face of uncertainty. They were looking at the man in the white coat affectionately. But Nadine clearly still preferred to sleep, as her eyes were fully closed. He stroked the little girl's head. Somehow that did the trick, because they saw her waking up from her slumber. And then she also slowly opened her eyes. But what the doctor then did startled the parents very suddenly. The doctor gently lifted Nadine's eyelids and examined her eyes closely. Mindy and David exchanged worried glances, their hearts racing with fear. Had something gone wrong? Their minds raced with a flurry of questions as they waited anxiously for the doctor's assessment. Their breath caught in their throats as they awaited the doctor's verdict, each second feeling like an eternity. The air was heavy with anticipation, every rustle of fabric echoing in the tense silence of the room. Nadine opened her eyes and then also, just like her sisters looked at the world around her for the first time. It was a beautiful child, with even more beautiful eyes. But it was these very eyes that made the doctor take a step back. Mim, this is extremely unusual, he announced. He mumbled something, 
but both parents could not understand what he was saying. An air of concern settled over the room as the doctor's words hung ominously. Nadine's parents exchanged worried glances, their joy tinged with apprehension. They waited anxiously for the doctor to clarify, their minds racing with fear of the unknown. Time seemed to stand still as they braced themselves for the impending revelation, uncertain of what it might entail. He looked at Nadine again, and then wrote some quick words on his notepad. What the hell is he doing? Mindy whispered to David in a low voice. I've never seen anything like this before, and this really should be impossible, he told the parents. These statements made Mindy and David nervous, and what he did next didn't make it much better. The doctor's actions left Mindy and David on edge, their minds racing with worry. They have a lot of questions which they feel need immediate answers. It was probably the longest few minutes of their lives, minutes they are looking forward to end soon. With each passing moment the tension in the room grew thicker. Finally the doctor spoke, his voice heavy with concern. He walked away from the children and began an inspection of Mother Mindy, who did not understand what was going on. He grabbed her wrist and took some measurements. He also looked repeatedly at the computer that had all the babies collected data on it. Apart from giving birth, are you feeling well? Are you still dizzy or weak? The man asked. Mindy's heart raced with worry as the man scrutinized her. She nodded, trying to appear composed despite the lingering discomfort. Physically, I'm okay, she murmured, concealing her unease. Yet, inwardly, questions swirled, unsettling her newfound motherhood. The weight of unspoken questions bore down on her, testing her resolve amidst the tumult of emotions. Mindy said she felt fine, but also said that this situation made her a little nervous. What is it, doctor? Is something wrong with my girl? The doctor tried to reassure Mindy and told her it was probably nothing, but that he needed to check something. He walked out of the room and asked if David would like to follow him. In the tense silence that enveloped the room, they could only wait anxiously for answers, praying for a positive outcome. David hesitated, torn between comforting Mindy and seeking answers. Yet, his parental instincts urged him to follow the doctor to ensure his daughter's well-being. With a reassuring squeeze of Mindy's hand, he rose to join the doctor, silently praying for good news. In that moment, their unspoken bond spoke volumes, anchoring them amidst the uncertainty that lay ahead. The two men walked into a room a few doors away. David took a seat on a chair while the doctor walked toward the window of that room. He stared out and removed his glasses from his face. I have to make an honest confession, sir. I have been working in this hospital for almost 40 years, and I have never seen anything like this, the doctor explained. David's heart sank at the doctor's solemn tone, a sense of foreboding settling over him. He listened intently, his mind racing with worry for his daughter and what this unprecedented situation could mean for her future. In that solemn moment, he resolved to face whatever challenges lay ahead with unwavering determination, determined to protect and support his daughter through whatever trials may come. David, who tried to keep it cool earlier when he was around his wife, now began to get noticeably restless. His palms were sweaty and his hands were noticeably shaking the entire time. With trembling legs, he asked the doctor to really give some clarity now. The doctor went to stand next to David and grabbed his notepad to show him something. As David's anxiety mounted, his mind raced with myriad fears and uncertainties. Each passing moment seemed to stretch into eternity, amplifying his unease. He leaned in closer to the doctor, desperate for any semblance of reassurance amidst the swirling storm of emotions. With a trembling voice, he implored the doctor for guidance, clinging to the hope that even amidst the darkest of circumstances, a glimmer of light could be found. He began by apologizing for his secretive behavior. This was new to him, too, and in his mind he was still too busy deciphering what had just happened. Normally doctors in this hospital can be short and sweet about a delivery. It is in fact quite a basic thing, but that was not the case here. Fortunately, he followed this statement with a slightly more reassuring message. David listened intently, his heart heavy with the weight of uncertainty. Despite the doctor's attempt at reassurance, a lingering sense of unease gnawed at him. He clung to the doctor's words, hoping for a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness that shrouded his daughter's condition. Yet, in the midst of the darkness that enveloped him, he clung to the doctor's words like a lifeline, searching desperately for a flicker of hope to guide him through the storm. You have nothing to worry about, dear sir. All three of your daughters are perfectly healthy and their little bodies are functioning 100% normally, the doctor said. But then why are you so enthralled with my daughter Nadine? What makes her so special? And why do you have to have this conversation here separately with me? Asked David the doctor. The doctor hesitated, his gaze shifting as if grappling with how to articulate his thoughts. Nadine possesses a rare genetic anomaly. He began carefully. It's nothing detrimental, 
but it does set her apart in a unique way. But I wanted to discuss this privately to ensure you understand the implications fully, clinging to the hope that understanding would bring clarity. He braced himself for the discussion that would shape his daughter's future. Mindy had been waiting alone in her hospital room for over ten minutes. She had been given some clothes again by the attending staff, who also tried to calm the nervous mother down a bit. There is nothing wrong, Mom. Your daughters are perfectly healthy and I'm sure the doctor will just need to go over some formalities with your boyfriends, the nurse explained. Though reassured by the nurse's words, Mindy couldn't shake off the unease gnawing at her. Each passing moment felt like an eternity, her mind racing with worry for her daughters and her husband. She longed for the comfort of their presence, yearning for the moment when they would, they would all be together again, safe and sound. With each passing moment, her fervent hope remained steadfast, that they would soon be reunited, enveloped in the warmth of their familial bond, and together, they would weather whatever challenges lay ahead. But why did that have to be separate from Mindy? I did not simply whisper to each other. No, they even went to a separate room for this. And why did they stay away for so long? The whole thing didn't feel well to Mindy, and so she reacted slightly irritated when David and the doctor walked back into the room. With furrowed brows and a strained smile, she awaited their explanation, her concern mingled with a growing sense of discontent at being kept in the dark. As David and the doctor re-entered the room, Mindy's irritation simmered just beneath the surface, mingling with her growing apprehension. Her eyes searched their faces for any hint of reassurance, but the tension in the air only seemed to deepen her sense of unease. She braced herself for the revelation that awaited, stealing her nerves for whatever news they brought. Okay, David, you're going to tell me what's going on now because I'm done. Is everything okay with Nadine? I want answers, Mindy said out loudly. David smiled kindly at his wife and then fixed his eyes on Nadine while making soft baby noises. Everything is okay, baby. Our daughter is just very special. One in two billion, if the doctor's words are to be believed, David said. Mindy's heart swelled with relief at David's comforting words, yet a lingering sense of curiosity tinged with apprehension still tugged at her. She gazed at Nadine, marveling at the precious bundle in her arms, her mind swirling with questions about her daughter's extraordinary uniqueness. In that moment, a profound sense of maternal love intertwined with an insatiable curiosity, driving her to embrace the journey of unraveling the mysteries of her daughter's extraordinary uniqueness. The doctor now also apologized to Mindy and explained that abnormal news, both good and bad, could occasionally be too stressful for a mother who had just given birth. He, therefore, wanted to make sure of some things before delivering the following news. Mindy now was even more curious about what he was going to say. He explained that triplets were always a special event. Mindy nodded, her heart racing with a mixture of anticipation and anxiety. She gripped David's hand tightly, seeking solace in his reassuring presence. The doctor's words hung in the air, a veil of mystery shrouding the impending revelation. With bated breath, she awaited the news that would unveil the full extent of her daughter's uniqueness. And certainly identical triplets were already tremendously unique. But what made these many times more special were Nadine's eyes. Identical triplets can differ a minuscule bit in appearance, but the essential parts of the children are the same 100% of the time. Hair color, eyes, nose, in fact, everything on their face. But where your first two daughters have green, blue eyes, Nadine's are deep, dark brown. Mindy's breath caught in her throat as the doctor's words sank in, her mind reeling with the implications of this newfound revelation. She glanced at her daughters, her heart swelling with a newfound sense of wonder at the intricate tapestry of their existence. Amidst the sea of uncertainty, one thing remained certain Nadine was indeed a precious gem, unique in every sense of the word. I personally have never seen this mutation and really shouldn't be able to occur. It doesn't make your daughter any less. It makes her all the more special. The photo shows Mindy, David, and their cousins. Here they are happily holding all three babies at the same time. This moment is now six years ago. Are you curious? What they look like now? Indeed, the passage of time has woven new chapters into their lives, each as unique and intricate as the next. Nadine, with her captivating eyes, continues to be a beacon of light amidst the everyday chaos, a testament to the beauty of individuality. As they embark on the journey ahead, Mindy and David find solace in the unwavering bond that binds their family together, cherishing each moment as it unfolds, etching memories into the fabric of their collective story. Then check out the next page. In this photo, you can see even more clearly the difference between the three children. From left to right, you can see Amber, Laura, and Nadine. Although you can clearly see that they are sisters of each other, Amber and Laura overwhelmingly have the same features. Nadine, however, has darker hair and is a little reddish. As the gaze lingers on the photograph, one can't help but marvel at the intricate mosaic of genetics that intertwines to form the essence of each child. Amidst the symphony of similarities and differences, their individuality shines brightly, 
a testament to the beauty of diversity within the bonds of family. It is in this harmonious blend of similarities and differences that the true beauty of familial diversity is revealed, a timeless reminder of the wondrous complexity inherent in the human experience. And of course, don't forget her deep brown eyes, which her father and mother still love to draw in daily. She is so beautiful, and all three of them still make us so happy every day. The fact that her mutation makes her special doesn't change anything for us. We love all three of our beautiful ladies equally for the full 1,000%, says Mother Mindy. In Mindy's words, echoes the profound depth of a mother's love, transcending the boundaries of genetics or appearance. With unwavering devotion, she embraces each of her daughters, celebrating their uniqueness with boundless affection. For in the tapestry of their family story, it is the threads of love that bind them together, weaving a masterpiece of joy and unity that knows no bounds.